Yeah, it's very unique. Um, obviously, an indoor stadium is, is something that we're we're not very accustomed to. But um, you know, the, the last time we played there was certainly a you know it was an entertaining game, it was a quick game. Um, it's hot. It's it's a uh, you know kind of. <clears throat> it's almost irrelevant how many people are in the building. It's it, there's, there's, an, there's a kind of an incredible atmosphere there, and um, you know we're we're 100 looking forward to it. Um, we know that we have to we have to win if we want to stay in the competition, and, and you know that puts pressure on itself. But you know that's what we uh, you know we we love is is pressure and putting put ourselves in situations that we we you know we have to perform if we want to continue in the in the competition. You know their set pieces is is, uh, is probably one of the best. You know that we've come up against so far. Um, line of defence is, is excellent. You know, probably one of the best line of defence teams in the world. Um, you know, Mall. You know, their power plays are, are, are tough to stop, and they get momentum. And then, as you said, broken field stuff. You know, they're they're hard to stop. So, again, we need to have learned a lot over the last few weeks, and and you know, put in, you know, probably our best performance of the season to to get a result over here. We've a huge week ahead of us. We're unbelievably excited to get stuck in. Um, yeah, certainly, guys. We were, look, we were disappointed on Monday coming in, but we've been in these situations before. We, you've you've a poor week. You you have to put that to one side if you if if you have any hope of, of training well, getting prepared to play one of the best teams in Europe, and, and that's what we've done. We've had a great three days training. Um, obviously, we, with a nine day turnaround or nine days, eight or nine days, um, gives us that little bit more of a window. We we had a, so we've a bit longer. We'd. A, we kind of got ahead of ahead of ourselves on Monday, which was which was good. We got all our reviews done, and, and we put that to bed, and still had the full week to to get prepared, which was was important. But excitement is 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 the word I'd use to to describe the group's moment. Yeah, massive. Like, and and from an individual individual point of view, it's putting yourself up against quality opposition, and you know we'll have to deal well with what's in front of us, and I'll have to deal well with Akatawa and Shivansi and Finn Russell and and the threats that they pose. So. You know, it's it, it's massive for us, and we know it's massive for the whole province and all of our supporters, and you know everyone behind the scenes. So we'll certainly be putting our best foot forward as as much as we can throughout the week to lead into the best performance we possibly can do. Well, it obviously helps this week that we have a nine-day turnaround. You know, we've had one or two days to to nail things down detail-wise. We had a you know a walk through on Monday. Uh, because we have the extra day, we could we could spend a little bit more time on indoor stuff. Um, so it does help. Uh, and then it's really just a case of looking after yourself until the week. You know, so if we get our detail done early in the week and we have the opportunity to do it this week, then come Friday, Saturday, we can start to think about just what's going to take physically, what's going to take mentally to get to get to get right for the game. So no, we'll be okay. Yeah, look, there's a feeling of excitement in the camp. Um, uh, we took responsibility as a group on Monday morning after that performance uh, against Ulster. That was uncharacteristic from our side, and we got dominated up front. And you know, um, we move on. Uh, we felt that we've done really well in Europe. We were one drop kick away from beating Racing at home in a fantastic game of rugby. We got the five points away against the Ospreys, and the two Saracens games were massive games, and we had a an opportunity to gain a point against Saracens at the end, which we didn't use. And after that, we always knew this was going to be a huge game. We felt against Connacht, we really did well. Uh, the Leinster game was in the balance until the last minute, and, and on Friday night we didn't perform. So, no, we don't need to rebuild our confidence. We're a confident group, we're a tight group, we know what we're about. And uh, we're really looking forward to Sunday afternoon. I'd say 50-50 is a, is a good way to put it. Um, most important thing is, is he wants to be ready. Um, he's a, an experienced 10. Uh, he knows that the team needs him for possibly 80 minutes. So he knows that he needs to be 100% right to, to perform. And he'll always put the team first. If he's ready on Friday um, and his body is ready, he'll tell us that he's ready. If not, he'll put the team first and then it's the next man up. Um, like I said, we as a group, um, and we back whoever's in, and you know, uh, Ben has grown quite a lot over the last few weeks. He's been in all the game day warm ups, and he's part of the squad. And you now Rory have, have trained there. We've we've been in this position now for quite a bit that we've literally had one fly off. And when we went six two, Rory was as as a cover in any case. It, it's not something new for the team. So you now we'll just back whoever's in that position on, on Sunday afternoon.
No, I've always been impressed by Racing. They've uh, got a fantastic um, club and an incredible squad. If you look at those names, it's a, it's a world team. Um, certain parts of their game um, are, are, in my view, I've said it before, the best in, in Europe, possibly in the world. Their line-out contesting is, is incredible. Um, and they play with a lot of speed and they've got a lot of big moments, so incredible club. Uh, we always knew this was going to be a, a tough pool and uh, you know we we learned quite a lot the last time that we were in Paris two years ago. Uh, incredible game of rugby again, fast, um, warm, noise, um, very different to what's currently outside in in, um, in Limerick. So uh, we're really looking forward to it and we know that uh, for this season's European campaign it's, it's a knockout game for us. So. Um, if we want to progress uh, any further in this competition for this year, we'll have to win on Sunday.